Let's dive into lateral neck strength. A lot of parents mm-hmm. understand neck strength to be something that we work on with tummy time. And that's absolutely correct. We're working on neck strength where baby is lifting up their head and they're extending it back. So that's just one way we're working on neck strength. But we also want to work on lateral neck strength. So there's several positions we can do this in. They can be on our lap facing away from us or towards us. So I'm going to show you with baby towards me first. And I'm going to just slowly take baby out of a center position. So he's centered right now. And I'm just going to lean him. He's wanting to use his legs. Lean him to the side and see that he's keeping his head in line. If I were to bring him too far to the side and his head was collapsing, whether it's his ear to his shoulder, he's rotating away, he just can't keep his head in control, then I would just not go into a harder position. So I would go centered into a position that's, yeah, is that easy there? And then I would just slowly lean him to the side. And once I started seeing that it was too hard for him, that's where I would stop. So let's see if he can stop standing up. You just want to stand on me, don't you? (laughs) All right, so I'm coming here. I'm going to lean him to the side and keep leaning, and he's doing a great job. Now, if he wasn't able to control his head, but we still wanted to work on this, I would take my C my hand will be in the C position, and I would use my pointer finger and my middle finger to support his neck. So I'm cupped underneath his shoulders here to lean from side to side. These two fingers are gonna be there just for a little bit of support so his head doesn't collapse. So we can do it them facing. We can do it with them facing away. So we can lean from side to side. So again, we're just going until it becomes a challenging movement for him. And we wanna see that his nose is roughly midline over the center of his chest. He's not laterally flexing or rotating down. So he's working here on his left side. So his right ear is down, which means he's working on his left side. Now the other way we can do, so the seated in the lap away or towards us is going to be a bit easier than this next one. This next one is going to be in a horizontal position. So I'm gonna bring him here. This is upright, which should be a little bit easier than as we start leaning. And again, as we're leaning, we wanna make sure that as we go to this full horizontal position, that it is not too much for him. So right now he's holding it, he's doing a great job. If we wanted to work on it, but it was a little bit too much for our baby, we could put our hand here and support. We just get to determine how much we support them, but allowing that neck to still be working. Now I do wanna take a moment to talk about torticollis. Torticollis is where we see a lateral neck flexion one direction and the opposite neck rotation. So right now I'm demonstrating on my right side a right torticollis. Commonly that muscle is weak and so we want to be working on strengthening it. So if I was working on a right torticollis, I would have his left ear be down. And that is because I want that right side to be working. So you can do this while you're standing. If you're having a hard time, you can be seated like I am, have their hips on your lap You can support under their chest with that hand that's like a C here, and you can even use your other hand to support. Or if they're strong enough, you can just come up under and have them working. This is something where you only need to hold each side for roughly five to 10 seconds if they allow you to. And if you can only get in two seconds, that is totally fine. We will work up to longer periods of time, but we don't need to be going past 10 seconds. That is plenty of time working on that lateral neck strength. So again, we can be working on it in a seated position away from us, towards us, or in our arms where we're supported in our hip, or we can be standing or we can do it seated and in the air going towards a full horizontal position. And again, we can also be using support with our fingers or with our hand, depending on which movement you decide. If you're having a hard time with your baby intentionally looking a different direction when you're trying to keep the midline, you can take a toy to be working on their directional preference. So for instance, if I were starting to lean him here and he was looking too much one direction, I can be bringing this midline to distract him enough to have him look midline at this. So right now I'm shaking it in front of him, leaning to the side. So again, that is working on lateral neck strength.